So what happens during the residency period here in Montpelier? During the residency here in Montpelier, um, the students experience a complete immersion both into the community and into music. So it's um, very powerful for them. Um, pretty much every minute of the day from breakfast you know, until bedtime is spent um, involved in what we're doing here. Um, there are presentations that uh, the faculty members give in their areas of interest. Um, there are master classes that uh, the students, in which the students present uh, some of their music in various stages of completion. And the master classes are, um, in the master classes, the students' music is looked at by mentors who are not their own. Um, so they can get a diverse range of responses. Um, we have rehearsals, we have performances, we have recording sessions. Um, so, and there's a lot of informal discussion also all the time, you know, walking to lunch, at lunch, at breakfast. Um, we have concerts and we have recording sessions. So it's pretty much nonstop and people bond quickly. They get to know each other very well. And usually after dinner, for some reason, especially in our program, uh, people like to walk down the hill and uh, go to the bar to continue the fun. So um, it's very busy, it's very engaging, it's very involved. What happens in the period in between the residencies is really an offshoot of what happens in the residencies because in the residencies is where you meet your teacher and uh, develop a relationship with that person. And it is maybe sometimes kind of ironic that in a low residency program, uh, one of the main qualities of this experience is that it's very relational. There's a tight, deep bond be that's created between the student and their mentor, and that continues during the six-month period between residencies. So students compose, and they uh, send their music to their mentors. Um, these days it's usually using something like Dropbox or email, um, Google Docs. And the uh, teachers respond uh, sometimes the same way, but I often, for example, I work on Skype a lot. And I'll even do screen sharing and we will analyze a film score together. And they'll be looking at my screen and, you know, show, I will show them scenes from a film. Sometimes we'll go through a whole film. So that's one way. Um, basically, technology is really our friend in this situation because we can, you know, actually see each other. But there is deep mentoring that goes on. The students uh, send materials periodically. Um, at an interval that's basically determined at the beginning of the semester between the student and their mentor. It can be every three weeks, every two weeks. It really depends. Sometimes I've worked with somebody every day in a row sometimes for a week when they're right in the middle of something. Um, the students often have professional lives. Those professional lives can be incorporated into their program here. So, for example, I have a student who actually lives in Taiwan, even though he's, in fact, from Switzerland. And he is a uh, film composer in Taiwan, and occasionally, when he's right on a deadline, he'll be sharing his music with me on a daily basis, and I'll be helping him and guiding him on that. So, um, it, the professional life of the composer um, is, can also be part of your education life here.